Assalamualaikum and uh, good morning. Uh, today, uh, I want to discuss about inverse of Laplace transform. Okay, before that, let us um, try to cap some important points on uh, on Laplace transform. Okay, so previously we know that given a function on time domain here, and then we want to find an equivalent function in complex frequency domain, S domain. So the process involved is you need to take the Laplace transform of your function T and then you will get Fs. So I can show you the mapping like this. So by taking the Laplace transform of Ft here, you will get your Fs. But now, you are given in complex frequency domain, you want to find the equivalent function in time domain. So the process involved is you need to take the inverse of Laplace transform of your Fs, then you will get your Ft. So in short, what I can say is by taking the Laplace inverse at both sides of your function here, Laplace inverse, then you will get Laplace inverse of Fs okay, equals to Laplace inverse Laplace. So it, it will cancel out so that you will have Ft. So this is the definition of inverse of Laplace transform. Okay. So before we go deeper on inverse of Laplace transform, Later on, we will discuss inverse of Laplace transform on its properties. It has three properties. The first one is linearity. The second one is the first shift property for the inverse function. And then the last one is we try to apply the partial fraction okay, uh, in your S domain in order to get the time domain. Okay. All right. Before we go to the properties of Laplace transform, in this video, I just want to show you on how to use the table of Laplace transform in order to get the Ft given Fs. Okay, previously, if you are given um, A, A is a constant, okay? Ft equals to 5. What is your Fs? Fs is 5 over S. Let's say your Ft is T square. What is your Fs? Our Fs is 2 factorial over s cube. Let's say your ft is exponent 3t. Therefore, our fs is 1 over s minus 3. Alright. Um, another example is if you are given sine 40, sine 40 here, what is your fs? Our fs is obviously 4 over s square plus 16. Okay. So that is what we have discussed in the previous subtopic so here we want to discuss about the inverse of laplace transform means that you are given fs you need to find out what is your ft so based on the table of laplace transform we need to refer your right column and the solution is at your left column okay the same goes to this column we want to refer this column Okay, your solution is on your left. Okay, let me erase this one first. So, how to use the table of Laplace transform? Okay, look at this question. Alright, the question is given that 6 over s. 6 over s. So, so that you need to refer the right column of your table. Where is 6 over s? 6 is a constant. Oh, this one. 6 over S. Okay. Therefore, we can say that Laplace inverse 6 over S. Okay. 6 over S is this one. You can take out um, 6 out from your inverse of Laplace so that you have 1 over S. Okay. So, 6 is 6. 1 over S. 1 is your A. So, the answer is ft ft equals to 1 so the answer is 6 okay oh we can conclude that given that fs equals to 6 over s okay therefore your ft is 
6. We can always um, double check our solution. Okay, let's say given ft equals to 6. Okay, then now we, we refer the left column. Okay, 6. Okay, what is your fs? Your fs is obviously 6 over s. So, you get your question back. So, do you know how to get, sorry, how to refer the table of Laplace transform by now, right? Okay, let's consider the second example, this one, negative 4 over s cubed. Okay, so we need to refer the table first. This one, the question, the b is negative 4 over s cubed. This is your fs, so take the Laplace inverse of your fs. What I can say is, I try to take out negative 4, then I take the Laplace inverse of 1 over s cubed. For 1 over s cubed, I need to refer the table. Okay, I notice that 1 over s cubed, I cannot refer a over s. Why? Why I cannot refer a over s? Because 1 over s, sorry, a over s is, you have the denominator s. Denominator s is s to the power of 1 only. But here, you have s to the power of greater than 1. So, I need to refer this one. Okay. All right. When I try to compare with the table of Laplace transform, what I can say is, I need to compare with the denominator first. S3, S to the power of 3 or S cubed is Sn plus 1. So, I can say that I have S2 plus 1. Agree? Okay. S2 plus 1 and your numerator should be n factorial, which is 2 factorial. Okay, look. When you put 2 factorial, then only you will get the solution of t to the n. But the problem now, 2 factorial is not exist. You create the 2 factorial, you must divide your solution by 2 factorial so that it will become 1 like the original function. If you create 2 factorial without divide it again by 2 factorial, means that you modify your original questions and your modified um, function is not equal to your original function. So in order to get the original function, you must divide your modified function by what you have uh, written in your modification. So I divided by 2 factorial. So I have negative 4 divided by 2 times 1. So you have negative 2. Laplace inverse of 2 factorial over s cubed is, sorry, negative 2. Then refer this one. Laplace inverse of 2 factorial over s cubed is t to the n. t to the n is t square. Okay, so this is your solution in time domain. So what we can conclude is, given that fs equals to negative 4 over s cubed, therefore your f t is negative 2 t square. Again, we can always check our solution. I try to take the Laplace transform of this function. Okay, Laplace negative 2 t square. So that I have negative 2 Laplace t square. Okay, what do you have? t square here. Refer this one. t square equals to n factorial over sn plus 1. So you have negative 2, 2 factorial over s cubed. Then you have negative 4 over s cubed. Okay, we get the question back. Alright, understand? Okay. Um, let's take a look at a um, more complicated question. Okay, let's say um, this one. This one is, is quite okay. So you have 5. Given that fs equals to 5 over s minus 9. Okay, 5 over s minus 9. I can say that Laplace inverse 5, take out 5. So I have 1 over s minus 9. Okay, I, I cannot refer. It is wrong if we refer a over s because a over s is just a over s. But this time you have a, a constant over um, 
sorry, my tab here. Okay, A over S minus something A, right? So that I have to, I cannot refer sine because sine you have S square. Cos you have S square. Sine hyperbolic you have S square. Cos hyperbolic you have S square. We just want S. So this one. Okay. The most perfect um, function is 1 over S minus A. 1 over S minus A here, the solution is EA, EAT. Compare with your function here. We have 5, okay, Laplace inverse of 1 over S minus A, your A here is 9. Your solution is EAT. So, you just write E9T. Check your solution. Take the Laplace transform of this one. So, you have Laplace, sorry, 5, Laplace of E9T. So, E9T is, check this one, 1 over S minus A. 1 over s minus 9. So, our solution is 5 over s minus 9. So, we get the question back. Okay. Next. Here. Let's say we have 1 over s square plus 4. 1 over s square plus 4. Take the Laplace inverse. Laplace transform. Sorry, La inverse of Laplace transform. So, now I... For this kind of question, we must compare the denominator first. When I try to compare, I have this one, either sin at or cos at. Okay, so you have a equals to 2 right here because your a square is 4. a square is 4, therefore your a is just 2, no need to take the negative 2, whatever. So your a is 2. Alright, so 2. Then only I go to the Numerator. numerator. My numerator is just a number. But for cosine, you have S. So this is not the correct function. So the correct function here is your sine 80. Okay, we will choose the sine 80. Okay, so compared to your function, you have Laplace inverse of 1 over S square plus 4 is plus 2 square, right? Okay, compare this one. In order to get the solution of sine a t, where your a is 2, okay, 2t, two okay, in order to get the solution of this one, you should have 2 here because you have a uh, at your numerator, but you just have 1. So you need to times by 2. Then only you will get the solution of sine a t. But the problem now, 2 is not exist, but you create the 2 so that you need to divide by 2 in order to make your function same as the original function. Okay, so 2, 2, so you, 2 and 2 here you can cancel out so you get the original function. So now, this is here, sine 2t. Don't forget to multiply by half here. Okay, you can check your solution. Take the Laplace transform of this one. So I have half, take out half from your Laplace transform. Take the Laplace transform of sine 2t. Okay, so I have half. Sine 2t is sine a t. So you have 2 over s square plus 4. 2 and 2 cancel out. So I have 1 over s square plus 4. Then I get the question back. Okay, understand? All right. So maybe for question D is quite same as F, but this time around you have sine hyperbolic. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. E. Okay. So for E, you have to take the Laplace inverse of 8. I take out 8. S, S square plus 64. I try to compare with the table of Laplace transform. I notice that I have S square plus A square plus A square. So that we will have either sine or cosine AT. Okay. But when I go to the um, numerator, I find that the numerator is S. Just S. So the correct or the perfect function is cos AT. Okay. 
8 is 8. I want to get the solution of cos AT. But the question now, what is our A? Okay, so compare to your table. Cos AT is S over S square plus A square. So means that your A square equals to 64. Okay, what is your A? Your A is 8. So that the solution is 8 cos AT. If you are not confident, you try to take the Laplace transform of your function here, you will get your question in your FS. So that is how we use the table of Laplace transform. In the next video, we will discuss on the properties of Laplace, uh, the properties of inverse of Laplace transform. So thank you.